Welcome to North Cyprus IVF Center's YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about IVF with egg donation, which is a type of IVF treatment where donor eggs are used instead of the patient's own eggs. In this video, I'm going to try to explain how the egg donation procedure works and how it's different from standard IVF treatments. Let's begin by answering a very simple question. Who needs egg donation or who needs an egg donor? First of all, patients with premature ovarian failure, where the ovarian reserves are depleted or completely exhausted before they're supposed to, which then leads to premature menopause, will need an egg donor. Again, menopause, which marks the time when ovulation stops altogether, is also one of the main reasons why someone might need an egg donor. Another reason is absence of ovaries. The ovaries may have been removed during surgery, or it might be that they're absent because of a birth defect, because of a congenital problem. There are also genetic reasons, which include chromosomal anomalies, or anomalies that may present themselves as gene mutations. Another reason why an egg donor is needed is because of chemo or radiation therapy for cancer treatments. Chemo and radiation therapy are known to damage germ cells, which are the types of cells which give rise to um, egg and sperm cells, and damaging these types of cells will eventually lead to infertility. Another reason is failed IVF cycles with own eggs or recurrent miscarriages with unknown etiology. When you've gone through IVF cycles, repeated IVF cycles, where um, the outcome is not a positive one, or if you've gone through a number of miscarriages without, an, uh, without a known etiology, then uh, it might be time to try something different, and that's when donor eggs might be required. And finally, um, same-sex male couples using a gestational surrogate will need donor eggs to father a child. Now let's talk about the difference between a standard IVF cycle and a cycle where donor eggs are used. If you've been through a standard IVF cycle before, you know that it requires a series of processes where you go through initial testing and you use medication and then you go through a process called egg retrieval so that, so that your eggs can be retrieved and used for fertilization. Now, in a treatment where donor eggs are used, you actually don't go through these processes. An egg donor does go through these processes for you, but you still need to go through certain testing and a mild medication protocol so that your uterus can be prepared for the treatment for a successful pregnancy. In a standard IVF cycle or in a standard pregnancy, let's call it, uh, the physiology of the, the feedback mechanism between the hormones and how the hormones are um, interacting with each other, they create an ideal scenario, they create an ideal setting for a pregnancy to occur. However, when you're using donor eggs, you don't produce follicles or you don't produce eggs of your own which means these eggs don't produce enough signals to simulate estrogen or progesterone release from the ovaries or from the corpus luteum cyst. Therefore, in treatments where an egg donor is used, we need to supp supplement these um, artificially. In this um, picture, you can see how the negative feedback mechanism works between uh, your brain and your ovaries. Because initially, in a given menstrual cycle, in a given reproductive cycle, when your follicles are growing, they release a certain amount of estrogen. When this estrogen is released from the growing follicles, from the growing eggs, they signal to the brain to stop producing too much FSH. And then, with this continuous feedback, positive and negative, 
Your brain knows when to produce enough estrogen and it knows when to start producing enough progesterone when the pregnancy is about to take place. When we're using donor eggs, these um, interactions between your hormones and the signaling doesn't take place. Therefore, we need to introduce something artificially so that your body knows that it's about to get pregnant, that um, pregnancy is about to occur, so that the ideal um, setting can be created for the pregnancy to occur. And one of the most popular questions that we receive is concerned with the success rates with um, donor X. If you're using donor eggs in an IVF cycle, you want to know how much of a success rate you have at the end of the procedure, and that's only natural. But when it comes to success rates, um, answering a simple question like the success rate is not as straightforward because success in IVF cycles is like a multivariable equation. It's not just the egg or it's not just the sperm. There is a number of factors that determine the success of any IVF cycle. There is the egg, there is the sperm, um, there is the uterus and the capacity of the uterus, the capability of the uterus to be able to um, carry a pregnancy. Uh, there are immune factors, there are genetic reasons. So there is a lot of uh, factors get, that go into the equation of success. So by just looking at the egg quality or just saying that the egg quality is good because you're using donor eggs, is not enough to say that it's going to be a successful cycle. So predicting the outcome of a cycle is not as straightforward. But um, strictly speaking, if we're talking about an IVF cycle where the only problem is related to the quality of eggs, then using donor eggs is likely to get you a success rate around 75% or even higher uh, especially at our clinic at North Cyprus IVF Center, we only use donors that are pregnancy proven. So if we're looking at an IVF cycle where the only problem stems from the eggs and you're using a, a pregnancy proven donor eggs in the cycle, then you're looking at a success rate that's very high.